Welcome to the channel guys. This is the video I never thought I'd ever have to make, but we gotta make it. As you know, come here Millie. We have Miss Tilly here. Where did Millie go? Always running when the camera comes out. And we have a very miss, very pregnant Miss Millie. And uh, obviously, she cannot have puppies in that barrel outside. So look at this mess, guys. Just not long ago, I cleared it all out. In the office build, I got all this stuff. <sighs> here's what we gotta do, and here's what's going on. I'm going to turn this into a puppy nursery. That's right. I'm gonna build a couple of whelping boxes. I think Tilly is not as far along as Millie, but there's no doubt she's pregnant too. Before anybody starts screaming at me, if you're new to my channel, Why is your dog having puppies? Why don't you get them fixed? Before you do that, let me explain to you how this went down. These dogs showed up at my place, okay? Normally when that happens, I run them off because I don't want to have to deal with other people's irresponsibilities and this state is full of irresponsible people. They do not spay and neuter their pets. Not all of them. The hunters are the worst. These are all hunting breeds. They stem from the hunters dogs who do not spay and neuter their animals. Fast forward, Mike gets puppies, okay? Millie, I would have took her right away to get her fixed, but I couldn't get near her. You, I, I have documented this thing with Millie this whole time. Now I can, but it's too late. And so we're going to have these puppies. But before anybody starts saying anything, I've already got them homes. I've got Millie a home, Tilly a home, and however many puppies they are going to have. They will go on a transport when they are eight weeks old. And they will all go up to Minnesota. That has been done for many, many, many years. Why Minnesota, you say? Because up in Minnesota and other states, they have spay and neuter laws. They cannot find dogs up there. So for many, many years, the southern states have been shipping them up north. And they all will all have a home already waiting for them. They will not see one day in a shelter. And when I ran the shelter here, that is what we did. Once a month, busload up to Minnesota. It is a very expensive uh, thing that has to be done, but they do it. So when it comes time to put these dogs on the transport, I will be asking probably for donations to that rescue. So that would be appreciated. But for now, I got to get this cleared out and I'm going to just, it's, I'm going to take that foam insulation I have and I'm gonna, I bought some of these uh, these nails with the washer on it, these nails here, we'll tack them up temporarily, make it warmer in here. I'm going to have to have some sort of a heat source in here because February is coming and uh, got to keep puppies warm. They cannot regulate their body temperature until after they're eight weeks old. So they will have a warm place. Uh, Millie and Tilly each need their own whelping boxes. I'm gonna have to build those. So I have never asked anybody for nothing, but if you feel like you wanna donate to this, that would help me out a lot because I'm not only do I have to get it right in here, they also have to have a yard. I'm not letting them run loose until they are in Minnesota. Then they can do whatever they want. But I've already got the poles for the fence. I had already planned to put one up I just didn't plan to do it right now but dogs gestation periods are short 68 days max so <laughs> I don't have time to spare man but if you do want to help out with that that would help me out a lot I have to buy fencing panels uh, they're not terribly expensive but it's just money I don't have right now but uh, there's no time to waste here I've got to get this done and I'm gonna start bringing the auger out tomorrow and, and laying out the yard. It's not gonna be a huge one, but it's just gonna keep them contained so I can care for them and keep them healthy until we can get them on the bus. All right, I've talked enough. Oh, how does it get like this, guys? 
So I gotta disperse this stuff into the shed and then in, into the loft. There's a couple of totes here. I'm gonna pack full of stuff. <laughs> a generator full of gas needs to come out. I may just put this off into the corner and leave it here. Table saw, that old wash or dryer. What do you think, Telly? Are you gonna help out and get yourself an apartment? Puppy apartment? Telly. What do you think? She says, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. All right, let's get to work, man. What do you mean you don't want to help? I'm doing this for you guys. Oh. No, we don't have time to play. We don't have time to play. Let's go work. Let's get some work done, girls. Come on. Oh, dogs. They use this no thumb excuse till there's no end. It's not happening, Tilly. I am not painting this pink in here. I don't care. You're lucky, you're fortunate that I'm going to let you stay in here at all. But I ain't painting nothing pink. I don't like the color. Okay? Pick another color. We're not painting nothing, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Hi. Hi, I'm really enjoying this. No, I'm not. <laughs> even I got a milk crate over there I'm gonna take out tools that I know I'm gonna need here soon to put them in that crate but I mean it's just a mixture of nails and tools and nuts and bolts and hey there's my new pliers I couldn't find all right so all these I'm gonna put in a crate Tilly's helping me she just Sticking by my side the whole time. She must have heard something about going to Minnesota. And she's trying to play me. So I haven't fully decided on if her and Millie are going with the puppies. 
but I'm leaning towards that. Uh, man, you know, I, all my dogs are over the age of eight, and then these two young ones show up, but I'll probably hang on to them. I don't know, but if I do, they're definitely getting spayed. No dog stays here without being spayed or neutered. Oh, this is just, I, I, I gotta stop this. <laughs> All these tools, man. You wonder why I can't find nothing. All right. <laughs> There's a flashlight I've been looking. Oh, look at that. Zip ties. I always need them. There's a whole bag of sheet metal screws after I went and bought some more. There's my pry bar. Alright, Tilly, you are the master of tools, okay? Your job is to watch those tools. She's doing it too. There they are. Ah, I've been looking for these. My strippers. No, those are the old ones. <sighs> Still haven't found the new ones I bought. Alright, I'm going to get back to work about 40% there. we got a lot of work to do. And it's raining outside, so every time I go to make a trip to the shed, I get wet. So I'm going to organize. You okay, baby girl? Alright, we deal with her. You like those? Yeah. Let's put those on you. Those are your safety glasses. Miss Telly. You don't like them? No, you can't have them. You're gonna break those. Give me those. Those are my good, good my good weed eating glasses. Uh -uh. Let go, Tilly. Let go. Uh -uh. No. You better start listening. You can't have them. You want the strangest things. Oh goodness! You need to go in your doghouse, okay? You need to go in your doghouse. You, 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 you just got staples all over the floor. <sighs> Melly and Telly. All right, I'm making some progress here. Oh, just a bunch of little stuff, man. A lot of this came out of the where I now have the office. I had a lot of things stored in there. Uh, this kind of thing. This is an old uh, antique mirror pretty cool I was gonna do something with that came off of probably like a I don't know some kind of a pie safe or something who knows some kind of something uh, got some delinquents across the street shooting a dang gun I don't know what they're shooting at but they're aiming right down the road these people man Right down there, they were standing right in front of that church, just shooting and aiming down the road. There ain't no supervision at all. Ain't any one of them over 12. I don't know where they went. But uh, I've seen them shooting at the street signs before. Got that on camera. <sighs> so you want to live out, move out to the country. Woo! All right, well, let's look here. My idea is to clear out a spot right here. And I'm going to build a little whelping box for Melly. What do we got? A leak? Come on. Where's that coming from? <sighs> well, I'll have to tend to that. And then probably another one over here for uh, Miss Tilly. So, i got to put up some of this foam. We're not going to start on this project till tomorrow. I see a piece of that tin that's not nailed down there. How am I ever going to get in there? Thank God that doesn't have a weight or anything on it up there. So anyway, I'm going to get the rest of this cleared out. And, uh, yeah. Guys, I don't know what else to do. They can't be outside. So I'm going to have to bring them in here. And what do you do, you know? It's not a situation I want to be in. Trust me. I do not want to be in this situation, but nobody else is going to step up and help these dogs, so I got to. So we're going to make it as comfortable in here for them and safe in here for them as I can. And it's going to be some work, man. But 
it's all we can do and I, I still don't know where I'm gonna put put a yard because it, it can't be back here it's just nothing but mud back here so it's gonna probably need to be right up in here somewhere but I've got water lines going through there I gotta be careful uh, yeah, like I say it's nice it's not gonna be put up permanently uh, all right I'll come back when I got her all done Doody 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 So, it said the GoPro turned itself off because it ran out of battery, but it's at 50%. GoPro sucked, man. I got most of the stuff out of here I got it I didn't want to put this in the where the washer and dryer is because the dogs like to dig in your laundry and get your socks and your stuff so all that's left uh, even if that dryer has to stay there that's fine it's really not in the way and it will not fit through the door so I have to take the door off maybe take it apart uh, the generator I'm leaving in here we've got possible ice storms coming next week yeah, it don't end, man. But we've made some good progress here. Tomorrow I'll get to work. I'll put up some, uh, I've got five of those sheets, four by eight sheets of uh, insulation. We'll put that up where we can. Uh, and then I'll start building some whelping boxes. Not exactly nice conditions to be out here building today with all this melting snow. But it's melting, man. It's just a sloppy mess and it will be for days. And more rain is coming, so. But, yeah. Uh, I think, though, it's, you know, it's generally 15 degrees warmer in here with no heat. Uh, at least I got outlets. I can run heat for them. I don't know what I'll run. I may buy another electric heater. I don't know. It ain't going to have to be much. All right, guys. Uh, not, a, not a very interesting video, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing and what we're going to be working on for the next video or so and uh, yeah I'm just from now on any dogs show up here I'm going to have to run them off because I just can't let my heart get in the way it's look what has happened now now I'm, I'm, I'm going to be stuck with up to who knows 20 puppies <laughs> but I do have connections we'll get them taken care of they will be healthy and uh i remember working at the shelter puppies are no fun they're cute but they're a lot of work man especially when you don't have the mother with the puppies they're a lot of work and when they start getting a certain age they are in everything they tear up everything but we'll get it done all right man i appreciate y'all watching again if you want to help out there's a paypal link on my page uh you might want to put in on on that for uh write something like for the dogs uh that way i can write that off on taxes but every dime will go towards whatever i need to build this and, and i have most of the supplies on hand what's going to cost me is a fence uh even just welded wire is expensive 
And tree and walker dogs like Melly, they climb fences. So I want it to be like kind of what Rooster has. Probably only maybe four 16 foot panels will do it. So yeah, it's a few hundred bucks, but uh, you know, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna. It's going up one way or another. So uh, any help would be appreciated. All right. Happy trails.